Hi guys, uh, I'm going to show you this uh, EMG biofeedback device here, Myo Plus uh, Pro. Uh, it's a very comprehensive device which gives you EMG, but also has some e-stimulation capabilities, which we're not going to talk about it right now. So what we're going to focus here is the EMG right here. You see the EMG icon here. And the next to it, you'll also see what we call ETS, which is actually EMG trigger stimulation technique. That's a combination of using EMG together with electrical stimulation. For this moment, we're going to just focus on EMG right here. EMG, I'm going to press this here and we will go to another screen that gives us choice to look at open display and work and rest modes okay now if we look at the unit here i will i will show you this is uh, you see this red wire coming now this is actually your uh, reference electrode okay this leads to the reference electrode remember we spoke about that emg will have three electrodes attached to it the red will lead to what we call is the active electrodes right so these are the this will lead to active electrodes which will go there and then this is the reference electrode so once we press onto the open display right here okay so you will be able to see the line here you see it is very flat so because there's no activity happening uh, now uh, we are going to uh, show you some muscle activity so i'm uh, what i'm going to show you first of all what happens when we do a muscle contraction uh, which is not so effortful and effective okay and then we will try to make a comparison between another contraction that is strong contraction and it's important to differentiate when somebody makes a little bit movement like this the activity or the action potential of the muscle generated is not that much and we need to induce contractions muscle contractions which are strong enough which can make them more effective and strongly okay so let's look in here now the line is flat now we have here our uh, good friend jj jj uh, will say hello and jj is going to demonstrate to you what i'm going to do is for the ease of understanding i'm putting on the forearm here because you know the forearms uh, is very easy to be seen with the movement of the joint here wrist extension we will do so we have two active electrode right here and we have the reference electrode which is kept here so let's so i'm going to tell jj jj can you try to just uh, simply um, lift your wrist up okay lift your wrist up come on and down up and down so you see the number change changing here that you see wrist up jj come on the 30 40 slowly just gently do it just gently do it just gently do like this come on come on lift so jj is pretending like a weak patient who has poor strength and moving his arm up and down you see the little bit muscular activity right now i will ask jj JJ, can you make a strong contraction? Come on, try to make a strong contraction. Up, 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 good. And relax. Up again, contract, 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 contract. Very good, relax. So guys, uh, did you see the difference between when he was contracting very slowly and, and like a momentum as we see? Can you just do like this? Slowly, slowly. Yeah, relax, relax and do it. Relax and do it. Relax and do it. Yeah. So you see when he does movement like this, this is very momentum based and there's very little muscular activity below 100 microvolts. Okay. Slowly, 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 slowly. Yeah. Yeah. But when he does strong contraction, come on, strong, 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 strong. Okay. He can, he can reach the peak value up to 400. Yeah. So, compare what he was able to do with the slow movement, which was below 100. When he made his attempt very strong, he was doing three times more action potential generation. And that is the quality of movement. We want patients to be performing when we want them to strengthen up. Okay. So, 
I go back here. So we restart, restart here. What we can do is also here, we can set a target for JJ to perform. And how we do it? I'm going to press this button here. And you see the red uh, number listed here, 261, is actually reflects you the target line. That means this is the target he should be performing. So how do we set up target? We set up target by first pressing this and this will start flashing. Okay, JJ, be ready. When you see my thumb up, start contracting, okay? And I'm going to press this. Okay, relax. Okay, so when JJ performed this contraction for three seconds, it captures the maximum action potential that he generated and then calculated 80% of that value. And that value is set here like his threshold. That means every contraction that he performs is going to hit 80% of his maximum contraction and more. So can you try again? So when he does above the target, you can hear the audio sound. There is an audio feedback. I'm not sure if camera is able to capture that sound, but there's an audio beep that is happening whenever he hit his target and above. So he need to do the contraction so that he can hear the sound coming that ensures every contraction he does is 80% above his uh, maximum level. Yeah. Okay. Well done, JJ. Thank you. After this, we will uh, look into the application for swallowing. Hi guys, uh, I'm going to now show you uh, how to set up for uh, swallowing muscle strength training, you know, the laryngeal muscle. And uh, before I move on, let me show you this is uh, again, this is your reference electrode which goes to and, uh, and then this is our lead electrodes. Okay, let's put the reference electrode first on JJ. I prefer to put it on the bony area or non-contracting surface such as this. Yeah, as you can see here, we put it here because it will not be contracting. And if you look at the active electrode, now you see here, this is the electrode that we're using. These are specially designed electrode for uh, application to the throat surfaces because it's got a very nice and adhesive plaster uh, that we can actually stick very well because this area will be subjected to a lot of movement when you are swallowing, okay? And when the movement happens, the electrode can become loose. And if they get loosened up, the signals will be compromised. You will not be able to get very good quality signals, okay? So that's always a thing we need to take in consideration when you apply. Uh, okay, uh, and what we can do is, uh, it's good to put a little bit drop of water onto the electrode. So, JJ, can you put a drop of water here? Just put a drop of water, yeah, on here and here, yeah. Okay, good. So, once you have water, I, I always like to do this and activate because this will help in activating the gel. Okay. So, once we have this electrode ready, we actually peel this off the paper strips. We take this off from here so that electrode could stick very well to the skin surface. We take this off. Okay, okay come on, JJ, come forward. Now, if you look here, relax a little bit. Okay, right here. Okay, swallow. Yeah. So, remember, we talked about surface anatomy here. That's his thyroid notch. He's got very prominent thyroid notch. This is his cricoid, cricoid, thyroid, and this will be his hyoid bone right here, right here. So we are going to target suprahyoid muscles, right, located right up here. So we're going to put the electrodes just below the chin, 
so that these two stubs can come right onto the chin. We give a gentle stretch, gentle stretch because this is plaster material and then we stick it nicely. So you can see the electrode surface, the electrode are held very nice in contact with the skin surface. It's good to put a little bit rubbing onto the electrode. It sticks very well. Okay, relax Gigi, relax, okay. Now I will turn on the unit and we are going to uh, go into the EMG again. This time uh, we are going to select what we call work and rest because work and rest allows uh, auto prompting how long we can set up for holding and relaxing like this. And if I press here, you will be able to see in setting screen what we are setting. We are setting for him three second contraction and six second relaxation. A typical swallowing phase lasts for about three seconds. So three seconds is a very good time. You know, for strengthening purpose, sometimes you are holding longer than that. That's also okay, up to five seconds. But classically speaking, three seconds is a good enough time. So what we're doing is three second hold and we're giving him double the time for relax so that he doesn't get too exhausted. So we get six second relaxation. We, we can do five repetition. Once we do this, we go back, set up again. Okay, relax yourself, relax. I think he was swallowing his saliva so there was some activity happening. Yeah, yes. so, yeah, correct, right? So uh, right here, JJ. And we can see now the relax, just don't swallow, just you can swallow but gently you see the activity is very little now now we did we did tested his uh, uh, maximum potential for the action uh, action potential generation and we have set him target now at 47 uh, microvolts right here so what we will ask jj now to perform a strong contraction to lift this up it's like this okay Hold for three seconds. Okay, JJ, could you try? Go. Relax. Okay, hang on. Huh? Let me put it onto. Okay, let's let's look at it. We are going to. We have set up hold time, contract time, okay, and relaxation time. The number of repetitions, and now we are going to set it to play when we play there will be audio prompt happening so now jj you hear what the device tell you and please perform accordingly listen to it So I'm not sure if you are able to uh, hear the audio prompt from the uh, device because it's a little bit lower volume, but it is actually audibly telling the clients to contract and rest, contract and rest. And thus you can see from the lines, you know. Okay, the sessions are completed, then you, you get session conclusion happening, okay. So uh, this is uh, this is what we are doing with the surface EMG biofeedback. This is a very classical approach to actually strengthen your pharyngeal muscles, which are important part to facilitate your hyolaryngeal excursion. EMG biofeedback gives you a very good measuring tool how well you are performing. It gives you incentive to do better. It gives you. Consistent, consistency to perform contractions at certain level. And these techniques have really been found very effective in developing strength of these weak muscles and improve the swallowing as a function. Thank you guys. Bye bye.